lots of stuff going down though. Three of Cups, Three of Swords. Now I typically don't see this. Um, I typically don't see third party relationships come up usually, but the fact that the lovers, the Three of Cups and the Three of Swords is in here definitely has to do. I, I feel like there may be a third party situation to look out for. Maybe you're involved with another person, and someone or someone else is involved with another person. Either way, which is probably why there's a lot of spying, a lot of looking out, because there may be someone that's involved that's super committed and in, in giving of something, or uh, giving of themselves. The King of Pentacles is usually someone that is very generous. He gives of himself all the time. He's rich for a reason, so he can give. So I feel like either you guys are involved with somebody like that, or there is someone in a relationship with someone like that, and you're kind of waiting to see what the status is with that one. But I totally feel like with the Three of Cups, there may either be a third-party situation, or that this could indicate that there is someone within your immediate and, and vicinity that shows to be very supportive of you in your exploration of love. Um, some of you guys may be celebrating some things, dealing with something of great, you know, of great significance. But I kind of feel like friendships are the way to go in connecting with people in a way that's super friendly. Now, let's see. The Page of Swords is underneath that again. So, why the Nine of Wands? Oh, man. So, okay. So, I kind of feel like you guys are maybe inclined to get back together with somebody that... Mm, that doesn't seem to know when to give up on the relationship. If you've already expressed to them very clearly that you you don't have no interest with interest with them anymore, I kind of feel like this person for a while was playing it very hard to, or making very making it um harder for themselves to accept because they weren't willing to let go of it. But the three of cups is a very platonic energy too, so it can indicate that you guys are trying to see how this relationship goes as friends. Okay. Um, but it's, I don't know. I feel like you guys are trying to, um, outlive the heartache so that way to actually see if there is potential for the relationship to move forward. But I kind of get this feeling that there is somebody that's seriously invested. So we'll see, right? So the heart of your reading has got strength coming up in the heart. So definitely difficult times right now. I don't think it's the easiest for you, especially with this other person that's involved, um, because there either are feelings attached, there's heartache, there's something that's like, there's something that's making it a point to um, be hard to convert from lovers to friendship. But strength to me in the King of Wands, there may be a Leo around you, or there's somebody that's a Leo. Um, that's um that you're dealing with um but it could also to me tell me that whatever you're going through at this moment does need time um and it does need um uh, of course it requires um uh, a lot of patience and um of course like i said time patience is one of those but mostly like endurance right just kind of keeping up with it okay um because the, the situation, it doesn't look like it's going to ha it's gonna change overnight. And it does require you a lot more effort, perhaps, to kind of go through it. It's not an easy journey. The task may be a little difficult. But seeing it through is the biggest point with strength, okay? Now, in the past, you have the two of wands. So I feel like you definitely were caught, caught at a crossroads. You kind of didn't know which area to go. Not in a bad way. You had a lot of interesting you know, aspirations and ideas. But I feel like this is kind of you kind of sitting, sitting here taking a survey of what you can work with and what you've got with your, with your destination um, choice uh, or what your path of which and how to do something may be happening. Okay. Um, so I think there was some sort of decision that you had to make regarding how you wanted to proceed forward with your life, with what you want to manifest in your life as far as how you want to feel. This may have resulted in you going on a path solo, alone, without anyone involved. And this is a personal in, uh, journey usually when the hermit comes up. No one else is involved in this. And I kind of get this feeling that whatever path that you decided to go on, 
it, it kind of made it kind of feels like you already knew that this was something that you needed the time to kind of understand and discover on your own and it would tap into situations where there was heartache where there was unforgiveness not let, re, willing like unwillingness to trust someone like i feel like you don't really know if you can truly trust people right now and the hermit energy that's coming up it's helping you to see it from a different angle see it for differently right or rather to relate to yourself um the similarities between not trusting someone else and not trusting yourself right um two um let's see Tar T taurus and gemini they both had um two let two become one from the messenger oracle come up they had that energy come up they had it twice so well, they, they didn't have it twice, but they came, but they both had it in a row. Um, and I kind of feel like with this situation, it's similar to that. But not in the sense of like, don't let your individuality or don't let your, don't let this, don't believe that the, the being in a relationship with someone will over, will overshadow your individuality, your uniqueness, your needs. It's not, it's, I don't think it's like that, but it's more of like, the reason why you don't trust others or if I think you're realizing from the reason why you don't really trust other people if there is a lack of trust here if there's any because it doesn't have to apply for everybody that it has to do with how much you relate how much you trust yourself how much you allow yourself to take a risk and if you can trust yourself to survive this risk but I feel like you're understanding this so that way you can go after what the bigger things. And understanding that the bigger things will come with bigger lessons that you have to trust yourself through. Now, with the hermit, I feel like it's making peace with these, with this past energy. With the three of cups, the three of swords rather. That doesn't really feel very good. Okay? It's highlighting a seriously difficult time in your life in the past that may have gone unhealed or un uh, properly or improperly healed. So there's a lot of self-reflection and it has a lot to do with what you, what's been hurting you or what has hurt you in the past. What made you feel like it, you know, it just was unrepairable. Okay. But you're taking the time now to repair it, to heal it, to do it. And which is why the strength card is coming up because there, you know, in order for it to heal, there's a part of you that you have to continue to give of the situation to do the work necessary to heal it. It's like, like literally the process of doing surgery. You're the doctor. In order for this person to survive, you have to undergo hours of, of operating on this person to be able to do the what needs to be done in that person's body to, to heal them and stitch them up so that they can recover properly. You're literally going in as a surgeon right now with your scalpel and your lights and your nurses, or really just yourself, and on removing these swords and patching the holes. That's literally what you're doing here. So I I kind of feel like this is no doubt of uh, undoubtedly something that will have a lot of of patience. You need a lot of patience with and a lot of in, endurance. A lot of pacing yourself and, you know, and doing the work, going through that difficulty, that little rough patch. So that way, not only will you be able to be fully healed, but appreciate the journey even further and get and see yourself in a totally different light. Because someone that's willing to go through such depths to heal themselves is admirable. Now, your best path to follow is the Page of Cups. Now, I feel like the way of healing this is very is very simple and it doesn't seem very simple it doesn't feel very simple but it is very simple and it is to have a dream and it has it's to have a desire because i feel like the two of wands yeah this is being feeling stuck at a crossroads you have to kind of figure out where you're going to go next but I feel like before you took the step to go forward, you went and did some inner searching. You did some looking within yourself. So I don't really even believe that you even took a path yet. I feel like you're still trying to figure that out. Because you know where you want, but how to get there is a little bit different. 
there's a sacred passage in which you tell you you decide to take, and I feel like it's before the journey, which is why the Page of Cups is coming up. For some of you guys, this is legitimately talking about talking about how you feel, expressing your emotions. But I feel like for some of you guys, this Page of Cups is really suggesting, like, acknowledging what you want and how you want to feel. It's interesting. Let me go ahead and pull an extra card for this, the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups coming up as advice for Cancer? What is Cancer meant to do with the Page of Cups in their, as their advice? What is Cancer meant to do with the Page of Cups as their advice? And it's to do with the Three of Cups. Wow. Ah. Oh, I see. So if there was a relationship recently and it's just been hard to trust people or there's been hard to let yourself in with people, the best way to be able to heal yourself from this, be able to start standing love, is by working with people that are close to you, with friends, creating friendships. If friendships are the prime, is the biggest thing to helping you create beautiful relationships with people, being friends with them, being friends with people, connecting with people on a friendship level. Because there's something that you can get from that, from being friends with someone. It will open the door to a lot, to a relationship. But first comes first, the relationship that you have with yourself. And that that's usually can be translated to you from how you treat other people. Or how you let other people treat you. It's interesting. So the like, perhaps you do want a happily ever after. You want a family. You want kids. You want to relate. You want a partner that you can trust and live happily ever after with. And I feel like, of course, the Herman energy is seeing is seeing what you need to see within yourself. Perhaps gaining that trust within yourself. But the way to be able to have the beautiful relationship that you want to practice, to nurture, to enhance your abilities to be the the, the partner that you like to be as well as to understand what to look for to find the partner that you'd like to have in your life is through friendships is through connecting with others is to mingle and isolation yes it can it has its moments of 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 clarification and healing but the truest healing and growth is by being brave and putting yourself out there and mingling with other people Putting yourself out there. I feel like maybe the opportunity presented itself to you and it looked nice and looked kind of cool. But then you remembered, ah, this is still there. This pain is still there. And as much as you would love to move on and be able to have fun and to date and mingle, that is a still a forefront in your life. And there is this retreating factor that I see with the hermit now. Still something that's nef des definitely needed and non-judgmental. We looking at this. This is your way of understanding where all this stuff is coming from. But I do feel like you know what it is. And you know what has to be done in order for things to change. And it is to step out of the darkness. Step out of this inner area of healing. And actually and start putting your focus and energy in how you treat yourself with others. Who are you in a group? Who are you with someone else? Who are you in a situation outside of your safety safe space? Are you the same or are you different? Is this difference because you don't trust people enough to be to see you for who you are or you don't trust yourself to allow someone in to treat you with such respect and love as you would hope someone would? And that is always, there's always these questions that spin around, that spin around. But the biggest thing, the Page of Cups, that's incorporating other people in. The Three of Cups, Page of Cups, Three of Cups, that's incorporating another person involved. And I don't feel like it has to be anyone, anyone intimate or anyone romantic. It can strictly be someone, someone platonic. 
spending time with them, building a relationship with them. Not in the sense of like a, a romantic one, but a relationship that matters that has so much impact. Building unconditional love. And you get unconditional love from friends and family. And that unconditional love which could potentially translate in how you treat yourself and how you see yourself and how you want to be able to see yourself moving forward. It's so big, family. So with the hopes and fears coming up with the set, with the Eight of Swords, Taurus got this too. And I feel like with the Eight of Swords coming up like this, I don't think you guys want to be blindsided. And it's, it's not necessarily a blindsidedness, but you want to feel like you have options or you have space to grow. If you've been dealing with some pain for a while, it can kind of trap you in this area of not trusting or not doing anything because the potential for this to happen again could be very high. And the energy that you're putting out there is saying is, is correct. It is very high that you could experience this. And it's not because you're trying to manifest it for yourself, but you're trying to protect yourself to prove to yourself that staying alone, staying secluded is safer and it's better for you. When in actuality, it's not at all where you want to be. So that's why it's so important to love yourself. Because that's this part of yourself that's having that kind of conversation is only looking for your own best interest. It's only looking out for your own best interest. So... With your hopes and fears being the Eight of Swords, I feel like this is you guys wanting to have more options. To be free, to not feel tied up and bound to one area. Because there's more to you. But it will have to do with being brave and taking a chance. Focusing on what matters to you. To build a relationship, to love someone unconditionally, to love yourself unconditionally. Now, what's interesting is that there's someone already around you right now that's showing you this. The King of Wands can be a Leo, it can be a Aries or a Sagittarius. And I feel like not only would this person come into your life to show you, a, a, show you how to, not show you how to do anything, but pretty much to remind you that of this lively, amazing, vibrant part of you that deserves, you know, so much love and attention and admiration... But I feel like you end up becoming the king of wands yourself. You become the person that you enjoy spending time with, that you 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 tap into a creative area in your life that you that you find great fascinations with. There's no doubt that the Queen of Wands comes up underneath here. You could be seeing an you could be seeing a fire sign right now. The fact that the Queen of Wands is just underneath there. Uh, was just underneath the uh, the clarifying deck. I feel like the King of Wands may be you, or you meeting the King of Wands, someone that 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 reminds you of that fiery, beautiful. And I, we all have a fiery aspect of in, in us. We are made up of all the signs. So I don't believe that just because you're a Cancer, you don't have a fiery aspect to you. You do have something that lights you up, if you wanted to. But how you express those things is your beautiful, unique thing. And I feel like this here is the true freedom that you probably want to feel. And you can feel it. All by allowing yourself to love unconditionally. Alright, let's see what the Messenger Oracle has to say. Ooh. Need and necessity. Okay. Need and necessity is understanding the importance of what you need and understanding the importance of what is a luxury, you know, deciding between the two um, or knowing what's the, what, the, what the difference is. Whatever we need, it's always provided to us. It is never withheld from us. What we desire is something that will require us to take our feet and walk toward that goal. And we will always get what we need supplied to us to have what we want. So when that said, right, when if you look at it from how I just said that, you can have whatever you want. But necessity, in a sense, and how they break it up in this card here, is usually saying, like, you know, you don't need X, Y, and Z to be successful. 
if so, there's always going to be something provided to you, but how or what the, that thing is, it may not always be that same way. You may not need that very thing. You may need something different. And however it is, you just have to trust that the journey that you're going on is going to provide you with the things that you need. You don't have to ever have to worry about what you need because what you need is coming anyway. Necessity is the idea of what you believe you need. As long as you believe that what you need will come to you, you will be on, you are already set on getting on your way. Hopefully that concept didn't confuse too many of y'all. But understand, but just kind of like, if you need to, rewind it, slow it down in your head. If you know that you need something going forward, trust that it will come to you in the form that it needs to come in for you to use what it's, what it's being given to you to be happy. The second we start putting paintings or putting up images in our head of what we need, what we need looks like, that's when we kind of get ahead, we get set back. And if we get set back, that's okay too. That's a part of the process and that's fine. But know that there is nothing here that keeps you truly from away from anything that you want. Everything is provided to you and it's providing it to you in the form of friendship right now. Love, unconditional love through the form of friendship. Now you guys have TikTok coming up with this. Okay? And TikTok, it talks about timelessness, divine timing. Everything's in a matter of time at this moment. It's all about, and, and truly too, the past is playing itself over and over again in your life. Not saying that this is saying there's something that you're missing or so forth, but that the what you're learning right now is something that, you've had experience in already there's something that kind of clicks into place as you kind of live through this experience but there's really truly no difference in time per se but more so that there is there's always there's always layers to everything and that everything that you've gone through in one journey even if it was like a side quest or a side thing that you've picked up along that way is useful here and now Again, showing you that the what you need is already provided to you. It's already given. You get what I'm saying, y'all? What you need is already provided with you because either you, it will either come to you or you've already had it stored in your memory bank. It's just now that it's, it's coming up as a memory. But that memory has triggers into it and why it needs emotional understanding. But truly, this area here is the nest is the is the tool given to you already preemptively ready for you to utilize to get you to this the ten of cups 